welcome to the latest unboxing video by theplayersaid.com. Today we're taking a look at Stronghold Games' latest release. It's by the famous designer Stefan Feld. It's called Jorvik. Yeah, this one just came in the mail. Grant had it on pre-order for a while, so let's crack this open. Viking theme game, obviously. Plays up to five players, which is nice. I think a lot of games do four players, and I think five can be a sweet spot for those times you have extra players. First thing in the box, we have um, rulebook. Rulebook's 12 pages. Very standard kind of Euro game format. Everything is nicely laid out. Everything's kind of separated. Lots and lots of examples. These brown boxes with all the pictures and texture examples, which take up a good portion of the rulebook. So it's going to help us really um, yeah, see how the rules get played. And then there's reference cards for everything that's in there as well. All the symbology is on the back for quick reference, so we'll keep this out handy. And the components list on the front. Obviously very nice production. And I'm going to pull this box lid back in here because the artwork is just stellar. This is, this is just beautiful, beautiful artwork. So it looks like we have here... Oh, this was quite loose. So we have a couple of sheets of counters. So we have, I believe, our coins. I'll just pop a couple of these out. These are big coins, and they're good, thick cardboard stock. And there's, for a five-player game, there doesn't seem to be very many of them. So I think the money is going to be probably quite a tight resource. So I'll put those aside. And these were the, these are the different player kind of cards and looking at them they all look identical and they don't they're single-sided these are kind of falling out here so I'm just going to pull a couple of them off just to show you once again just the artwork it is just top top quality on these and these are these are kind of thin boards just for just for reference and you'll be putting different bits and pieces on there but those are fantastic looking. Other things we have in the box. Okay, so we have cloth bag. And the cloth bag, we're going to put these colored cubes in there. And these are different um, commodities, resources. Because this is primarily, it's a Viking game, but it's primarily your, your kind of trading things. Trying to get the most influence on trade so that you can build yourself up. In that aspect, so there's things like amber and iron, and wood and wool, and we're going to put those in the bag, and we're going to be drawing them randomly from the bag, and that's what comes in on ships, and it's going to help us determine what's available. We have a couple of spare baggies in here for putting the game away how we want to do it. Another bag here of just wooden meeples and things. So there's meeples for every color for the players. And there's um, different markers as well. This is the first player marker, Mjolnir Thor's Hammer. And there's some... Ooh, this guy's brown, so he's going to be representing a different in-game aspect. Deck of cards. This is a quite a lot of cards here. Let me just rip these open. So the game plays... It's over one year, but you play over each of the four different seasons. So let's pull this out. This is the very final card. This is when the Picts invade, so you're preparing yourself over the game to kind of face this card. So that's going to be the very last thing at the bottom of the stack. So you have all of these. So you have an autumn deck of cards, and they all have the same backing, and you'll play through all of those. As you can see, they... These cards are very standard. They're different boats or different events and people, things that you can buy. And again, there's a, there's another, you know, there's progressively better picked invasions. So that was autumn. And we have, I believe, summer, spring, and winter. Yes. So you have the winter cards. I'm trying to hold out through the winter. And you do those first, and then you go through spring, and then you go through summer, and then you do autumn, and at the end of autumn you have that final picked invasion. As you can see, it's just the artwork is great. The symbology 
I mean, looking at these cards, you know, one or two symbols and a number, a little icon in the corner as well. Some that are a bit more comfortable with the ships, you're going to pull out those commodities we saw earlier, put three of them on here. But, you know, there's a good amount of symbology, but the, the, the reality is, is there's not a lot of different symbols. So it's going to be pretty easy to learn. Don't let that intimidate you. And finally in the box, this is the last thing. This is just a, an insert in there. Move that way. We have the game board. And the game board is supposed to be simple enough. We're going to be putting the cards out on the board, and there's a, a victory point marker. And like most Feldian games, it goes up to a goes up to a hundred. So I presume this is going to be another high score in Feldian game, as as a lot of his are. Something that just struck my eye getting this out of the box. Just the just the back of the board, okay. The back of the board, fully painted, gorgeous artwork, and I just love it when when games do this. Uh, games like Cyclades has this, and there's a couple of other ones. It, that just that extra attention to detail instead of just having a plain back of the board, it just lets me know that the publisher really cares that they put that extra effort into it. So there's not really a whole lot in the box of Drovik, but a, a lot of the trading and influencing aspect is where where the game lies. So I'm I'm excited for that. I love that kind of player interaction level of trying to barter and take things and you know, securing the best things for yourself. And this one I know Grant's been very excited for, and we're going to play this here real soon, so watch out for a new review on this one. And thank you very much for watching.